In understanding parameter values, it's a powerful area of the software that defines configuration settings for each application or module and the core functionality of the software. You can define such features as default settings for transaction entry and flow, print destination default settings, budget tracking and control settings, and navigation and quick select options and settings. Now there's a hierarchy level when defining values, with user level as the highest level, then site level, company, legislation, and finally the folder level. To better understand parameter values and how they define the configuration and the functionality of the software, let's dig a little bit deeper. So let's go to the common data function or module and let's go to our business partner block and select customers. Within the customer function or task, under category, I can jump to the category, say if I'm creating a brand new customer or I'm modifying a customer and changing the category. If I tunnel down, if I look on the left panel, you normally would see a, all of the records but we only see one record. Now, yes, I can go into our category here and do a filter and see all of the customer categories. However, I would like to see all of the customer categories when I drill down. This is a parameter functionality that we would like to change. To do that, we go to our setup module or function to our general parameters block to parameter values. Now that setting is under supervisor at the folder level under the seed or seed folder. Now just as I discussed earlier you can change settings at the user level you can change them at the legislation level. Let's take a look at one at the legislation level. As you can see here, you can make settings at the company level. And let's take a look there at the company level. And you can also change at the site level. As you can see here, the site level. Now we're going to make the change at the folder level. So at the folder level, when you drill down or tunnel down into a record, you will be able to see all the records in the left panel rather than just the record that you tunnel down in on. To make that, it's a listing change. So it's the list sectors. I select the action, go to the detail, and it shows all the different parameters that can be changed. The one we would like is the left list field on tunnel. Right now it says no. Let's change that to yes. So we do a selection and change that selection to yes. You click OK and you save. And let's go ahead and close out. Now depending on the level of change or the level, whether it be the user the folder, the company, the site, or legislation. You may have to close out of X3 and then log back in in order to have that change take effect. And let's do that. Now let's go back into our common data, our business partner, to our customer, And let's drill down or jump to the category. As you can see, in our left panel, every category is there, so you'll be able to easily see them and select them. Now, because this is at the folder level, I should be able to go into any other function and see the same thing. I'm in customers. Now I will go to suppliers, go to the category for suppliers, and as you can see, all of the records for supplier categories are also available for easy selection.
And now you know how to change parameter values, which would change the configuration or the functionality of the software at every level from site, company, legislation, user, and the folder level.